And there's our Stitch Pink 2020 Block 11. I think it turned out great. Okay, welcome back for Block 11 of Stitch Pink. This one's called Five and Nine. So I found a mistake on here. And when you print out your pattern, they may have fixed it by then, but just in case they didn't, on A, you need 25 one and three fourths inch squares of two different colors. Once from Grun, you need 19 from number 82, and you need, it said you need 19 from number 82, and you need 6 from 328. But you only need 17 from 82, and that is, where's my, that's the, the dark red. So you only need 17 of these, 3, 6, 9, 12, and then you've got 5 in here, so that's 17. And you need 8 from 328 because that's the corners of these four blocks. And you need 2, 4, 6, and 8. You still need 25. You just need 17 and 8 instead of 19 and 6. Different amounts of each one. Different amounts of each one. Okay. B was fine. You need 20 of those. Then you need your 4 and a half inch squares of the background. And your um, 1 and a fourth by 11 and 3 fourths. And 1 and a fourth by 12 and a half. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to basically be making two different kinds of blocks. We're going to make four of this one and only one of this one. So I'm going to go ahead and lay those out to show you. This, this doesn't look like a real involved block either. It's not real hard. It's just, it's easier now that I figured that out. But, uh, <laughs> okay. So for the one where we make four, we've got that bright pink in the opposite corners. We've got like a little, little four of these around the center. And then we've got three of the dark ones that run through at diagonal. Okay, so we're going to make four of that block. Okay. And then we're going to make only one of the next one. If I scoot that down. And it just has two colors, is that right? It has only two colors. So a typical nine patch. Right. This is the one I had two extras of. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go sew those. I'll be back and we'll lay out our block. All right, perfect. All right, I'm ready to lay my blocks out. So this one with just the two colors goes in the center. This one goes here. And you really want to watch where the A's are. Well, the, the bright pinks are on this one. It looks like the reds just form diagonal lines. Right, so that does help. Okay, then you're going to take the C squares. So we're really just making a big nine patch with the little units that we just made. Then, when you sew that together, you've got two little sashing strips here. So E goes over to the, well, actually, we put D on first. So D is 11 and 3 fourths inches long. So once we sew these together, it'll match that. And then the uh, 1 and a fourth by 12 and a half will go over here to the, is it your left hand side? Mm -hmm. yes. It is. So I'll go so just like this. Pretty basic sewing, huh? Right. All so right. there you are. This one was not hard to do. Nope. After you figured out the that you needed more of that one color and less, less of, of one another. And more of another one. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks more. for joining us.